Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina here. So it's mid-November and I'm just now getting ready for hunting season. Uh, as you guys know, I was getting ready for nationals and then I went to nationals and then I've been back for over a week, but I've been just busy doing <laughs> annealing videos, this, that, and the other. So today I came on here because I need to fill up my feeders. They are empty. What you got? What is it? Oh, it's a bug? Yeah. Yep, it's a bug. Anyway, so gonna fill up this feeder. The cows are on the way over here, so they heard the truck and I guess they're hungry. The sun is setting, so I need to hurry up. There was a lot of deer here when we got here. Even though the feeder doesn't have any corn, there was still a lot of deer here. So that tells me, um, you know, they're looking for food. This is a good spot. This is a really good spot. My deer blind is right there. It's about 100 and, I think it's 150 yards or so. But it sits back there. It's a perfect spot. And then I have, that way I have about 450 yards. This way it's about, uh 250 and here to the feeder is about 150 and of course back there it's all brush so can't can't hunt that way so anyway i'm gonna fill up this feeder and uh, verify that everything's working and then tomorrow i'm gonna fill up the other one the other one i have it set up right next to my thousand yard uh target so maybe this year we'll get us a uh about a thousand yard or 1100 yard uh, hog hunt. How about that? We'll try it, okay? Alright, let me get to work. Alright, so we got the feeder full of corn. Let's verify that everything's working. So what I do is I I actually leave my feeders running year round. When uh, when the corn runs out, I just let them keep running, and uh, I think that keeps them from uh, breaking down. I think because I've never had an issue. Just let them run because they're just gonna run empty anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, let me set the time. It's really getting late right now. All right, I got it set. Now we're going to test it. <laughs> All right, it's working. All right, so it's working. Uh, we can't make it to the other one because it's already pretty dark, so... I will see you tomorrow. We'll fill up the other one tomorrow. Before I go, I just remember to have a game cam over here. So I'm gonna take this and see what's in it. And uh, we'll get it charged up, put a new fresh card in it. But if there's anything good in here, I'll show you. All right, so I'm back at the ranch today. Uh, there was really wasn't much on the game cam. The, uh, the sensitivity was too light on the motion, so it pretty much took 3,000 pictures within two days. So I need to fix that. In the meantime, anybody that knows anything about ranch life is going to understand this. I get here and of course the water trough is overflowing. There's the float, so obviously it came off the valve. Uh, so I'm gonna have to turn it off and come back and fix it later. And to turn it off, we have to dig down in here. Yep, there it is. 
Gotta get your hands dirty. There it is. We'll fix it later. So, anyway, that's ranch life for you. And of course, I need to wash my hand. That's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> all right, let's go fill up the feeders. Well, we just got one more to do. All right, so here's where my other feeder is at, and it's conveniently right where I have my targets. Uh, so I can have this feeder either at uh, 500 yards, 1100 yards, or about 1300 yards if I go that way. Well, this is, that's where I come in from. That's where I shoot, when I shoot a thousand yards, that's where I shoot from. So the first hump is 500, and then the next one is a thousand, and then as you go on, you can get out to about 1200 or so. So the plan for this, the reason it's here, <laughs> is that I can, uh, when I come uh, work on my rifles or side them in or tune or whatever, I'll just get here early and uh, just wait. And if there's any hogs out here, then I can plug them <laughs> from either 500 or, or uh, 1,000, whichever one I'm doing that day. And if I want to hunt deer, then of course I'll move closer because I can also set up around uh, 300. So if I want to hunt deer, then I can do it from 300. But this is typically mainly used for hogs and javelinas, mainly hogs. There's not much of anything else here. Hogs and deer. Did I mention there's hogs? <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Gotta test it, make sure it works. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so it's working. One sign that this feeder hasn't had feed in a long time is there's a lot of grass under there, if you notice. And I'll show you as hogs start to come over here. All this grass is going to be gone. This one only goes off in the morning and the reason for that is, like I said earlier, I'm going to pick off some hogs from either 500 or 1,000 yards. I don't have a camera that can reach all the way from 1,000, but I have one that I think I can film from 500. So anyway, when that happens, I'll let you know. And the only thing that I got on that other camera was turkey. We have tons of turkey here, but I don't hunt turkey, so they know it. <laughs> and all they do is eat my corn. Another thing that I'm gonna do is I have some other targets set up. Over, you know what? I have a ram. I'm gonna go set it up. It's about 1,300 yards from over there. So I'm gonna go set that up because the cows knocked it down. It's a good practice. You know, show up, cold bore, take a shot at about, I don't know. I think once it's set up, it's about 12 or 1,300. I don't remember, but let's go set it up. This is, uh, it's a ram. I used to shoot silhouette a long time ago. And uh, somebody gave me this ram. I think it was Mark Farr. Uh, yep, Mark Farr gave me that ram, now that I remember. And I have a small Ipsic over here. And I have a frame, so I'm just, I just hang it off that frame, but, but the cows knocked everything over. This was no exception. All right, let me stand it back up. And there's a hole right there. I'm thinking it's armadillo hole. You guys see that? All right, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that hole. <laughs> while I'm doing this. There's definitely something living in there. All right, there it is. Got her set up. So this ram is just mild steel. I think it's 3 8 Yeah, it's about 3 8 thick. Um, my six millimeter will not go through, but I think if we hit it with something harder or bigger, it will go through. And of course that's AR-500 plate. The It's gonna take a lot to get through that, but this one, you can see it's got some dimples on here. And uh, that's when I had it, my uh, 300 uh, wind mag. 
So I started shooting competition <laughs> with my elk rifle, which was a 300 wind mag. And of course, that's what I started practicing with. So you don't need a competition rifle to start competition, okay? Uh, you can start with whatever you have. I get messaged often about what rifle is best, this, that, and the other. Well, the best thing is obviously to build a custom rifle. If you're gonna shoot F-Class, build a 284 Winchester or some variable of it. Chihane or 284 are the most popular. So build one of those, you're gonna be happy. Uh, you know, some use some people use a 300 WSM, but if you're starting out, build a 284. That is gonna be the most forgiving, best bang for your buck ballistically okay so just build one of those you'll be happy if you're gonna shoot mid-range a 6pr is really pretty good okay just enough to get you started but if I mean bring whatever you have there is no no one's gonna push you away just because you bring your hunting rifle doesn't matter just bring it that's how I started and the best thing that I can tell you to do is just jump in jump in I mean you can read about competition you can read about ballistics, you can read all day long. Nothing's gonna help you as much as just jumping in and getting it done. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I'm just getting ready for hunting season. I know hunting season's like three or four weeks in already, but I was busy. And uh, I will bring you some hunts once I get out here and start hunting, all right? I don't, I don't, I don't hunt trophies, I hunt meat, that's what I do. And that's why I'm setting up for hogs. Like when I shoot hogs, I, I butcher them and I eat them, okay? That's what I do. And, you know, that's just me. Anyway, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Hope all your groups are one whole. See ya.